My name is Crystal McMillan, and I've lived here in Koreatown for about 10 years. Most of the time, I ride the buses on Wilshire, which is one of the busiest lines in the city. Others here today have spoken about our hopes for improving the air quality of Los Angeles. I want to speak about the economic impact and the interdependence of transit riders. I'm a college graduate and a registered voter. I'm also a veteran of the armed forces. And like so many others, I'm also unemployed and I'm transit dependent. The decisions that are made about the transit system are not an abstraction to me. They are going to directly affect my life. I'm looking for a job, and when I go out for a job interview, I need to be able to make the best impression that I can, and that starts with the bus being on time. When we are in a recession, and even as a skilled college educated worker, I have spent months looking for a job. I can't limit myself to a small geographical area. When I speak to that potential employer, I need, they need to know that I have a reliable way to get to work, no matter how far it is from my house. When I lost my job, my income was cut. Fare increases aren't just an inconvenience. They directly affect my life on a daily basis. And I am just a reflection of the larger issue. Increasing costs for the transit system takes away money that riders need to spend on other necessities like groceries, housing, and health care, just to name a few. Service cuts mean some of us are unable to pursue promising educational or employment opportunities. The quality of the transit system literally affects thousands of people and the choices that they make. The Clean Air and Economic Justice Plan has the potential to add 7,700 jobs to the Southern California economy. That is not just drivers, but mechanics, sales, and manufacturing jobs as well. These new jobs are just part of the picture. An efficient, affordable transit system will increase the reach and spending power of thousands of riders. That is going to affect everyone in the city, not just the people on the bus. The challenges we are facing seem daunting, but we haven't set ourselves an impossible task. We aren't tilting at windmills, we are talking about ground level, concrete improvements that can be in place in a matter of months. It won't take years to see the results, and we won't need to bankrupt our city to make a difference. We are striving to address the problems caused by service cuts, fare increases, and overcrowding. The Clean Air and Economic Justice Plan is practical, and the gains are long term. I gave a lot of thought to how I could translate the passion of my beliefs and the hopes that I have into words. I feel that I'm here today speaking for all the people who couldn't be here, all the people whose lives are going to be affected by the decisions that you make. I hope you're worthy of our trust. Thank you.